What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training. It's today going to be breaking down how wide receivers can use the throw-by method or the throw-by technique at the top of the route, okay? So I'm sure you guys all know what we're talking about, where you guys are at the top of the break, you put your hand on either the back of the hip or the back of the shoulder, or maybe even the arm, like the back of the elbow of a DB, you throw them by and you slip back underneath. So we're going to be talking about how you guys can avoid a, getting a flag call, when to actually use this, and then the mechanics behind it, okay? So we're going to play this clip full speed here from John Brown. So he does a great job of taking the inside release, getting the DB to flip those hips and swatting those hands off to slip back underneath. So I want to tell you this right now, the only time that we use this technique really is when we are trusting ourselves at the top of the route. So if you guys are familiar with this channel, we talk a lot about not forcing it. So what is what kind of leverage does DB have right now? He's got an outside shade look, right? So he's outside shade for two reasons. A, he's expecting an outside breaking route. Look where the receiver's alignment is, right? He's obviously has this split cut way down. So no wide receiver cuts their split down this much, usually to run like a post route or an inside breaking route right usually they cut their split down to run a corner route an out route some kind of outside breaking route right so a smart db is going to be playing this thing outside shade especially if you are on the goal line especially if you're on the goal line and he's also outside shade because he has safety help he wants you to run to the inside so if you do decide to take off and go run a drag you're going to run right into his safety he could get right on your hip and you're not going to have a ton of separation you might have a little bit but you don't have a ton so that's why we got to understand as a wide receiver this is when we want to use the throw by so when i see this technique i'm thinking one of two things if I have to run a 10 yard out. I could give him a release, I could attack him outside, and I could either work over the top and give a move if I restack, or if he plays it well, I'm going to be working a throw by move. Okay, so that's if he's outside shape. Now, if he's inside shade, you could still use a throw by move if you're running like a post or a dig because he's inside shade for a reason. He doesn't have any help over here, just like how he doesn't have any help to the sideline. Your split would probably be a little bit wider, so this DB's expecting the inside breaking route, and you, you can't get over the top, so you throw him by at the top of the route when you have to run a dig. That is when you would use this thing, okay? So now, let's talk about the mechanics of this thing. At the top of the break, we want to make sure that we're aiming for three specific points when we are throwing by a DB, but before we break this down, fellas, a lot of times wide receivers need to understand that you want to be as explosive as possible on the field. It's a very fast twitch position, and that's what helps you make these kinds of movements at the top of the route. And if you guys want a way to improve that, check out that very first link in the description below for our 12-week long wide receiver gym workout plan. What you'll get access to is 90 days of wide receiver gym workouts with all the exercises given in example picture format, and each drill is broken down with sets, repetitions, rest periods We give you rest days and conditioning days. Everything the wide receivers need to do in the gym to translate onto the field is located in this. So check out that very first link in the description, fellas. We should be training not like bodybuilders. We should be training for performance and athletic performance on the field, and that's what this will help you with. So very first link in the description below, fellas. Let's get back to this video. So now, like I said, there are three places that you want to aim for. So when this DB's got hands on you, I, I, I honestly, when he's an extended arm like this, like if he's like right into your hip, I like throwing him by at the hip. But if he's got like an extended arm like this, I think your aiming point should be elbow or back of the shoulder. Those are the two spots we call those points of control. So the three points of control are elbow, shoulder, or hip on this DB when we were working a throw by. So Brown does a great job of attacking the shoulder. And I want you to see how maybe this was a little bit early, but when you guys are running the route, like let's say it's like a 12 yard breaking route, right? And you're up to 12. You don't want to at nine yards, put your hand on the DB shoulder and then run up a few more yards and then try to throw him by because as soon as he feels your hand on the back of his shoulder, what's he going to be expecting? A throw by and he'll be able to react on this move. So we want to make sure that we get up to the top of the route and at the last second we throw him by and you see how he's swatting back of the shoulder, getting him off. And now it's very important that when you guys swat, we have to accelerate. We have to make sure that we win that race to the ball every single time that I use this throw by technique move. Make sure, fellas, now to not get a flag called. We want to swat. We do not want to push. So what a lot of guys will do is this DB will be running with them. And rather than swatting the hands and swatting forward, what they'll do is they'll have this elbow kind of like tucked in. And obviously you can't think about this stuff during a game or even during a practice rep because it's too detailed. But what guys will do is they'll like extend the arm and push. You do not want to push because the push is what's going to get a flag called. You want to swat the hands. Hand fighting is 100% okay. That is not going to be a flag. Just make sure that we accelerate and we keep that separation that we got because of this technique. Let's watch it again full speed one more time. Great job taking the inside release, getting the DB to flip those hips, and that is when you would want to use the throw by, how to use the throw by, and how to avoid a flag on it. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys got any questions, um, 
Please don't hesitate to leave that in the comments section below. We always appreciate the feedback and we love hearing from you guys. And again, fellas, if you'd like a 12-week wide receiver gym workout schedule, everything wide receivers need to do in the gym to help their skills improve on the field, check out that very first link in the description below. We really appreciate it. See you guys next time.